In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Calendly. So if you don't know what it is, Calendly is a tool which you can use to schedule appointments or events. So whether it's managing appointments for your business or making your personal scheduling easier, you can do all of this using Calendly. So let's get straight into it. So for this tutorial, I'm going to be using my laptop, but you can follow the same steps and do this on your phone as well. So let's get started. The first thing you have to do is go to your browser. So now I'm on Google Chrome and then search for Calendly. We'll first have to log in or sign up. And after that, we can create our schedule. So click on the first link. So now if you have an account, you can just log in. And if you don't, you can sign up using Google, Microsoft or else just with your email ID. So I'll quickly sign up. So I'll select with email. Now I'll have to enter my email and then click on sign up. So now I've signed in with my email ID and they have a few setup steps, which you'll just have to follow. So first you need to create your Calendly URL. So this is a unique URL, which will lead someone exactly to your page. So you can select whatever you want over here, then click on continue. After that, they've said that events will be added to the Google calendar, which is linked with this email ID. So if you want to change it, you can edit it or else just click on continue. Now over here, you need to set up your free time slots. So this is an important page because based on this, they'll allow people to select time slots when you're free. So for now, I'll just keep, let's say 9 AM to 5 PM. And if I'm only free on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I'll just select those. So now Calendly knows that I'm free between 9 AM to 5 PM on these three days. So people can select slots based on this time. Then click on continue. And now they're asking our day to day role at work. So here just select any option. And then click on finish. So now the setup is done. And here's the dashboard. And I'll quickly show you around it. So this is the home page. Over here, you can see all of the events that you've created. So currently, there's a default one that's here. And after that, if you want to create a new one, you can click on create that's on the top right. And then you'll see it again over here. After that, if you want to go to settings, you can just click on account on the top right. But I'll talk about this later in the video. For now, I'm going to show you how to create an event. So just click on create that's on the top right. And now they have some default options, or if you want to start from scratch, you can do that as well. So here they have three types and I'll select the first one because this is from scratch and I can decide exactly how I want to create it. So I'll just click on it. And here they have four options. You can decide what type of an event it is, whether it's one on one, a group event. So they have all of these options. For now, I'll just select one on one, but based on the type of event you want, you can select one of these other options as well. After that, they said choose a host. So here they've asked who's the host. I'll just click on next. And now we'll have to fill in the details of this event. So first just type in the event name. So for now, I've called it tech is easy's interview. Then I can select the location. So if you just click on this arrow, you can see all of the different options. So if it's in person, then you can actually type out the location. Otherwise, if it's online on zoom or Google meet, you can provide those links over here. For now, I'll just select in person meeting. And here I'll have to type the location where it is. And I'll click on update. After that, I can type a description over here if I want and then give a customized link for this event. So now the Calendly link is much simpler. It's calendly.com slash tech is easy slash interview. And now I can select any color which I want and then I'll click on next. Now that the event details are written, we have a few options related to selecting the time slots available, how long each slot should be and when somebody can book. So all of that can be done from here. So here we can decide the date range and within this range, people can select slot bookings. So they have some options 
like so many days into the future. Personally, I prefer within a certain date range. So if I click on the second option, then here I can manually select between which date and which date I want to accept bookings. So for now, I've kept it this one week and I'll click on apply. So now people can book slots only between 14th and 21st September. Then the next option is how long each event will be. So if you just click on this arrow, they have some default options from 15 minutes to one hour. But if you want a custom time, just click on custom and now you can manually enter the time. So now it's going to be 20 minutes per slot. After that, you need to tell them when you'll be free. So there are two options if you want to give them your existing schedule. So this is what we selected earlier. It's this one over here, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, between nine to five. Or if you want to set custom hours, you can just click on this option and now change the timing from here. So let's say I don't want to accept Monday then I can remove it. And now people can only select slots on Wednesday and Friday between nine to five. And now there's one last option and that's if you want to keep a gap between each event. So let's say you want to have a 15 minute gap after every event, then just select the option that's after event. And now you can select the time. So now, after every event, 10 minutes will be saved as a buffer. Then they do have some additional rules. I won't get into them in detail, but you can just go through them over here. And now just click on next. Now the event is set up and there are a few options related to sending the link to others and what details they'll have to fill in when they reach your link. So I'll quickly go through some of these options. If you click on invitee questions, this is what they'll have to fill every time they want to book a slot. So as of now, they'll be asked their name, email ID, and please share anything that'll help prepare for our meeting. And if you want to add a new question, just click on the plus button that's here. And now you can type in another question. After that, notifications and cancellation policy is something that's important. Over here, you can decide if you want to send email reminders, email follow-ups, or text reminders. So if you want to enable one of these, just enable it. And after that, you can also decide the cancellation policy. So over here, if you have a certain cancellation policy, you can just type it out. And after that, you can decide the confirmation page. So this is basically the page that they'll be directed to once they've selected a slot. So as of now, it's the Calendly confirmation page, but you can change it by clicking on the arrow and then redirecting them to an external site. So this is basically how to create an event. And there's only one thing that's left to do, and that's share the event with others. So to share it, just click on share. That's on the top right over here. And here they have three ways. One is via link which you can just copy and then share it with others. The second method is via an email. So you can add this to an email that you're sending. And the third is adding this to a website. So you can embed this into your website and then people on your site can just select slots from there. And one thing which I forgot to mention before is if you want to get a preview of how your event looks, you can just click on view live page that's over here. And now it'll open your page in a new tab. So this is how it looks. As you can see, the name, the time and the location, they've all come here. After that, the available days are only Friday and Wednesday. And Monday has gone because we removed it. So here you can see on Wednesday, all the available time slots they're given here. They're all between 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. So this is how it works. And there are a few additional settings which are important. So I'll quickly show you that. Just click on your accounts icon on the top right. Then click on settings. So over here, branding is an important page. Because here, you can insert your logo. After that, in my link, 
You can customize your link and then just save the changes. So these are the two important settings. And now there's one last thing and that's analytics. So in the analytics, you can see how many people went to your page, how many booked a slot. I'll show you how it works. Again, click on your icon on the top right, then select analytics. So since I just created the event, there's no data here. But once you start getting more clicks and more people booking events, all of these will start filling up with numbers. And over here, you'll have all of your data related to your page. So this is basically how it works. And if you want to know how to create a link tree, you can check out this video over here. That's it for today. Goodbye.